If you're living with TB, what is your risk from COVID-19? How can you keep yourself safe during the pandemic? And why is it important that the world doesn't take its eyes off of TB during the pandemic? Hello and welcome to Science in 5. I'm Vismita Gupta-Smith. We are speaking with Dr. Teresa Kaseyeva today. Welcome, Teresa. Teresa, let's start with what is the risk for a person living with TB from COVID-19. Both tuberculosis and COVID-19 affect primarily lungs. Though uh, tuberculosis is caused by, by bacteria and COVID-19 by virus. Keep in mind uh, that uh, tuberculosis is everywhere and can affect anyone, though we know that uh, there are group of high TB burden countries where the risks of getting tuberculosis are much higher. Also, we should keep in mind that uh, over than a quarter of the world's population is infected uh, with the mycobacteria. Uh, it means that you are not uh, sick and you cannot transmit infection, but you have higher risk of development tuberculosis. And when we are in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, uh, this risks increasing. Evidence on TB and COVID-19 uh, is still emerging. We are still uh, uh, studying on it. But we can say that patients with a TB, uh, in case if they've got uh, COVID-19, will have uh, more severe COVID-19. And in the same time, uh, the risk uh, of uh, less successful treatment for TB is higher. Teresa, why is it important that the world doesn't take its eyes off of TB, even during a pandemic? Tuberculosis remain uh, one of the biggest infectious disease a killer right after COVID-19. Tuberculosis is everywhere. It's airborne infection and it doesn't know borders and uh, nations. Every single day, tuberculosis claims more than 4,100 lives. And even during our Science in Five talk, uh, over 15 people uh, lost their lives. Every year, around 10 million people falling ill with the tuberculosis. And due to the current situation and disruption of the essential services, we can see uh, significant drops uh, in TB diagnosis notification, and it means that access is limited. And it means also that people are not receiving timely life-saving treatment and transmission of the infection is continued. We have all the opportunities, even during a COVID-19 pandemic, to combat successfully both diseases and protect better people. Let's keep our eyes on tuberculosis. Teresa, if you're a person with TB, how can you keep yourself and your loved ones safe during the pandemic? Follow your doctor advice and keep your place uh, where you live with your family uh, well ventilated. Follow uh, the principles of uh, the good uh, hygiene. Uh, especially it's well known uh, for uh, people with tuberculosis how it's important to follow cough etiquette, uh, wear masks appropriately, keep social uh, distancing. And if vaccines are available, please be vaccinated. Get yourself tested for both COVID-19 and tuberculosis. If you have symptoms uh, like coughing, high fever, difficulties in breathing, uh, remember that both diseases can have similar symptoms. Also, please keep in mind uh, the fact uh, that you should be tested for TB if you have history uh, in your family or close contacts with the TB and you've, you've been tested with the TB infections. The risks during pandemic uh, are growing. Remember that tuberculosis is preventable and treatable disease. Please keep your safe and your family members safe and healthy.
Thank you, Dr. Teresa Kasayeva. That was Science in 5 today. Until next time then, stay safe, stay healthy, and stick with science.